beautiful people. Welcome back to All About The Vibes. Vibes. I am joined with three beautiful guests. Please introduce yourself. What's going on, guys? I'm your girl, Janae Maya. Whoop, whoop. What's happening, people? I'm your girl, Emma Rose. Whoop, What's whoop. good? I'm your girl, Mikael Well. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, and guys, cheers. It's Friday. Cheers to the Woo-hoo. weekend. Yes. 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 So how's everyone? How's everyone's day going? Good, you know. I'm it's good. Been good. It's been it's been vibing. Love it. <laughs> it has, actually has. Okay, guys, I've got a little quiz for you guys, just okay. you know, to keep you on your toes. Jeez. Are you guys ready? It's literally yeah. jokes. Okay, cool. Question number one. What is Skepta's real name? Ooh, I feel like I should Ooh. know this. It's nah, Jamie's Jamie, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Jamie's Jamie. Oh Jamie's Jamie. Yeah. Who's for Skepta? Nah, Junior. Junior. Ooh, you're close. You are so close. Give me another name that starts with that MJ. Justin. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, Junior. Uh, Junior. 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 Come on, Mikael. Remember we were talking about that guy's name. Jerelle. And we were like, it sounds from the Bible. Wait, wait, you got Jerelle. it. Oh, Joseph. No. Yes. <laughs> what? It's Joseph. Yeah, it's Joseph. Joseph, man. Okay, Jamie question and Joseph. number two. Which Drake song broke records in 2016? Oh, Controller, One Dance. Yes, One Dance. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't know, did you? I was gonna say, how like, blue for the shoot. Like, you have a little, I wasn't on it as, as much as. Yeah. Okay, what are the, I think I've got two more questions. What girl group, uh, well, no, what girl group, well, 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 what girl group, when? no, literally, <laughs> what did I write here? You know what you, what girl group, um, oh, 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 oh well, my bad, my bad. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, let me what girl group band was Melody in? Melody, Melody. Girls allowed. No. Melody meaning. Like, I'm thinking of Mel B. <laughs> no, I'm no, thinking no, no. of Fifth, Mel- Fifth Melody. Melody. She was like, um, I don't think you guys will know, but I'll give you guys an idea. Like she was Spice Girl. In Amer- it's an American group oh, band. Oh wait, Melody. She was like mixed race. She tried to be like the main one, but then it failed because Destiny's Child. No. Destiny Cat Dolls. Yes. Pussycat Dolls. Really? Yeah. Pussycat Dolls are American. I thought they were UK. I no, thought they were American. 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 Actually, no. Mad. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me. me. A period. Last question. Um, Ovi or Skepta? Oh, oh my yeah. God. This is so hard. It's so oh, hard. It's so hard. Oh, okay. I feel like that's probably the hardest questions I've like, ever, ever no. asked me. That. No, they Obi. were straight to the point, Obi, Obi boy. Listen, I don't think you understand. Like, Skepta's Skepta's Skepta is sexy. Skepta is sexy. Skepta's style bro. is sexy. Skepta's I'm sexy. both. I'm sorry. The, I'm the both. answer is both. Both. The answer <laughs> is both. Yeah. I mean, well, both. I mean, I can choose both now. You said no, one. Skepta is like, I don't know. He's Obi. Saucer. He's he needs just, to start playing. No, but yeah, I feel like Obi would just. He's. <laughs> oh god do you guys like guys with that. tattoos i think guys with tattoos are beautiful I, yeah. 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 yeah sensational I, I love it depends what sort of tattoos like really if, yeah i mean it, if I, I don't really like colored ones oh no. okay, like too, like, i'm okay. here for t- guys with tattoos literally, show me your tattoos, tattoos. Like, yeah. i, think I feel like you can literally be sat there with so, with someone covered their body with tattoos you can literally be sat there all day just talking about every single one of their tattoos. individual tattoos no that's actually and so and what it means like these stories behind tattoos i mean like the ones behind mine are not like good but like it is what it is it is what it is that's what it is that's lit right guys personality as well like it just shows like personality yeah and, like you're, i so feel like, about, like i'm not saying people type is more fun but just it's they just are. they just like they just don't, they well. just don't give a yeah. shit do they like they just like the more <laughs> outgoing like yeah they're bad rebelish. boys i reckon yeah. every guy that has tattoos are actually like low-key devils yeah <laughs> especially the uk like thinking about it now like most guys even like the london scene think about all the artists the rappers mm. of all tattoos fredo oh like. my god <laughs> Do you find him sexy, guys? By the way, real quick. Yeah. Fredo. I find yeah, him more. No. I find him funny though. Like, I think he makes yeah. me laugh. Oh, sorry. And he he's puts the pictures without his tap. <laughs> <laughs> I you seen see the real tattoos. I think he. Yeah, his whole body is covered in. Oh tattoos. yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah, whole body. Yeah, is he is sexy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, no, Emma, sexy. just no. Fredo. I think he has sex appeal. He's not sexy. I think he's sexy. No, but I don't think I'd go there. No, no, like I don't look like him. Yeah. Do you really think he's sexy? Like, would he be sexy? I think he's just like a pretty boy. I think he's just a pretty boy. Yeah, yeah, of course. I think he'd still be good looking if he was a rapper. I don't look at someone and think, oh yeah, you're a peg just because you're a rapper. I'm not gonna lie, I don't see it. Really? Really? Not the tattoos. No, Fredo. No. I don't. I think he's good looking, but I don't. I don't understand that. I think he's just pretty. Yeah, he's pretty. He's just his energy as well. Like he's got that bad boy. Yeah, 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 he's he's got, like, yeah, he looks like he can just, you know. Hey, hey, 
<laughs> right, guys. So I know, like, I'm, I'm happy that I'm with girls today because we have so yes, much to talk about. We do, and we know we do. what we're gonna talk about. What we're gonna talk about, Michael? Men are trash, and that's one period. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know why men. I just out here menning. Yeah. Why, well, men do men? why do men men? Yeah, Please. why do men men? Now Please. Please. comment below. Why do men men? We have a lot to say. We a have lot. a lot. How's everyone's <laughs> love life? Like, what are you telling me, guys? Love like, life? What is that? What is love what life? Is, what is a love life? Where? 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 It's 2021. <laughs> I think lockdown's, like, made everyone change, you know? Oh, yeah. like, Lockdown literally got everyone To be changed. honest, though, I feel like lockdowns change everyone and no one wants to be in relationships because right. we've all been locked in for so long everyone just wants to go out and have fun which i can right. understand yeah, but literally. no one's serious everyone feels That's like actually, they've been so cheated true. everyone feels like they've been cheated a year out of life so, so they're everyone's just trying to like, now. live it to the fullest mm. now but they're not really i think it's mad that's mad yeah it's not even like they're not being responsible either it's just like i feel like our generation especially with social media like everyone yeah. always says it all the time but it's so true like i feel you like just get caught up in it you yeah don't even everything's realize. accessible more yeah. these facts. days no, and facts. like you can literally just swipe on tinder left and right mm. i'm not saying that that's that's if the thing to do but like i feel like dating someone now is so accessible it's as easy as getting food it's easy as all yeah, it's as easy yeah. get swiping someone and going on a date with someone is easy just ordering a takeaway like that's like how accessible it is but yeah, yeah. Really no like i don't like online sketchy. dating but that's that's what have you guys tried tinder Oh, so, like I've tried it, but I, I don't no. think it's for me. Really? Yeah, yeah I've met some I've weirdos. Hinge. <laughs> yeah, I had that's just got good looking guys. guys. I don't know. The, the guys are like slightly different. Okay, let's talk about situationships because, like, <laughs> lockdown, like you say, is driving people crazy, especially men, really and truly. I mean, we're right, girls, we're doing all right, right? We're surviving, mm. <laughs> you know. But I feel like men, what's going on with these situationships? Are you not tired of being in a situation? Well, like I don't actually want a relationship. Okay, but I'm still tired of situationship. Like I'm kind of <laughs> like need, I'm kind of on the pulse. Like I don't actually want anything serious. But then it's just like I don't exactly want to be in, in a middle situation. or in a situation. Yeah, like, I'm kind of confused. Like, but yeah. yeah, I'm just trying. Well, like Emma said, you know, I'm like, just trying to go with the flow and just mm -hmm. like do me whoever comes in in that time yeah. and that's that and whoever yeah. goes in that time that's that but my main focus is me not Period. the men yeah. coming into my Period. life you know, yeah all. Self-care is important. Self-care is important, oh, yeah, man, because that's I, part say, of I say this to every single one of my friends, mm. like, if you don't love yourself deeply, no, no, no one's going to have time no to love you. No like, you don't know, you, you don't know your self-worth, how do you mm. expect anyone to show you Period. that self-worth? Preach. No, that's fact. I mean? That is so fact. Yeah, situationships are mad. Yeah, no, they're, they're a bit of a sticky one. Though. No, but I, I feel like they can still be good. Do you know what I mean? Explain. Why are they good, Emma? You tell, you spill the tea on why they can be good. massive We ain't seen the good side yet. I mean, okay, we're going to be the bad side of the situation. You tell us the good side, you know, the positive Wait, side. I might, I might be on the bad side still. <laughs> oh, we got you, girl. We got you. <laughs> I'm not saying situationships are all good. Like, obviously, it's kind of like being in a... It's not even in, in a relationship. It's like being... <laughs> it's like, what is this? It's like, what is this, dog? Like, what, what is this? this? I'm what's, over it. Whose man's is this? Like, <laughs> like, like that's a big one. In a situationship as well, like, you don't even know whose man this Bro, is. Bro, you don't yeah. even... You can't, you can't even... You can't be mad. You can't be mad. <laughs> you don't even know how to act. Man. Like, that's not normal. I think that's not but, normal. But you can... If you've got, like, a nice agreement with that with said person <laughs> and, yeah, living the best life. and then you're just like chilled you don't i don't want a relationship they don't want a relationship it's chilling you respect each other what happens when you catch feelings emma but then you just get rid of get over it innit? it that's what has to that's happen women have that is, it, is it is it is it easy just to say oh yeah you just yeah, get over I feel like all women have that oh you cut it off or you cut it off or yeah. you just don't see them for a couple months and then go and back then go to them back. and then the feelings come back. I think it's easier to say than done that. Definitely. I, I completely agree with both Emma and Janae mm -hmm. only because I feel like it's like whenever you get into a new entanglement or situation shit, whatever yeah. you want to call it, it's like you don't ever want to put pressure or like labels on it straight yeah. away. You don't want to bring it up because it's like, it is too much pressure. Like it why is. does it have to be so much that's pressure? Like why can't I just get go with the flow? Like it's so much pressure. It like, literally like, is. In a relationship. Like, yeah. It literally is. I know about like, five people at the same time. <laughs> no, yeah, but literally I was going to say, it's like at the same time, it's like, I'm not trying to like be with you forever. Like yeah. let's just see how things go. Exactly. Like normal people. Do you know what I mean? And then mm. if it works out, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And then yeah. it is what it is then get over it type of thing but obviously not everyone what, has that is that heart. normal though do you think it's normal the fact that like at this generation now i think it's fucked up anyway but even it's though i don't mind the situationships but <laughs> i feel like <laughs> what else is there to do <laughs> I'm like, I'm but i feel like it's just not normal anyway how we think because of like 
we're just over it of how many times we've been so disappointed like now yeah. we've just learned it's to just, just get over it's it it's literally the yeah. norm so to be in a situation shit. yeah it's like the new thing now like it it's literally new, a trend it is, it is a trend to be in a situation free my girls that in situationships Hey, read them all. Read them all. Yeah, literally. It's, like, it's, it's a struggle. It's a hard over it. You'll 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 get out there slowly. You'll get out. You'll get You'll sleep. The thing about situationships, yeah, it is a temp. Like it can be like a temporary thing. It can be an extended temporary thing across a year, two years, <laughs> hopefully not. Two years. Yeah. Well, well, I think that's a relationship. Do you, would would you, you still be in a situationship if it literally has been two years that's and the guy is still like, I don't know. Chill out. That's no, 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 disgusting. Chill out. Like, no, I know a girl that's been in a situation for two years. I'm not even going to lie. And literally she was like, no, I'm tired of it. I had to cut it off. No, to be honest, I have heard that as well. Yeah. But personally for me, that can't run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I right. like, nah, that's if you're in a situation for longer than six months and the guy has not made any moves to ask you, all types of questions like i just feel like yeah nah. sort you had out like, not even to truth. be in a relationship just to have that conversation like where you guys are yeah, Do you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. it's yeah. like That's just toxic it's and just it's toxic like, where, no. you don't really but know i feel like us girls us girls, girls need to start letting the guys get away with this no nah, but it's like <laughs> not you us no girls need to start letting Preach. the guys get away that's with what it. i'm saying like because it happens it's not too normal much. it's happening too much man and it's like we're accepting mm. it like yeah get over it no like really and truly like once we like have sex with a guy like especially a guy that we really really like naturally you're gonna catch feelings for them so for me to now just block them feelings it's so hard and act like i don't like you because that's what it is now i like i I don't want to tell you how much I like you, but I really like you, but I have to act like but my, my pride yeah. tells me no. No, because it's a situation. It's a situation. Long that long. People are scared to express their emotions yeah, to other that's people. That's what it is as well. We're really scared. Like, as much as I want to say, I love you, daddy, but I'm just like, nah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, like, mm, like, do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. yeah, it's mad. Girls are actually tough nowadays, you know. We've taught yeah. ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We really yeah. have, you know. Yeah, I I because I feel have. like when you have someone that you like, it's like, <laughs> it's like, like you girls do, nowadays are more stuff, you more realize you go say you yeah. would do something you would do before I, love you, like, baby. I feel like girls now are more mentally stable when it comes I, yeah, to yeah, I'm happy. I'm like, happy. but I'm, 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 I'm glad that happens because yeah, like, I men ain't shit and men, men the girls are, are just, obviously we all know men ain't shit and we've known for years men ain't shit but now we're realizing that yeah, I feel like it's like yeah. girls territory yeah. now yeah, I love men are getting intimidated by women don't you think men are moving sensitive nowadays so you feel like men are the one going girls are trash of course we're trash yeah, yeah. Last time we I can checked, move the same way you can move, bro. Like, like I'm giving you the energy that you know. You I'm bringing back the same yeah, energy. Real. Like, no, literally, yeah, men are trash. Let's talk about men because ish, they get, ish. what I don't understand about men mm. is they get pissed off when you react normally so, so they'll, they'll treat you like shit they'll call and you, when you get pissed off they're just like oh, oh my god why are you acting like what? that you're, you're toxic psycho. you're toxic oh do you like are you, are you crazy are you attracted to toxic behaviour oh, fuck oh, 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 oh and the oh, thing oh. that I'm hating nowadays how everyone just like highlights toxicness like it's not nice to be toxic nowadays yeah like it's not everyone's like oh me everyone's trying to be like having been toxic as a trend it's like yeah, yeah. me and my, like me and my boyfriend is. are toxic like it's not good that you're toxic like being toxic Toxic is actually mentality. a bad thing. Your mentality yeah. and your men. Yeah, no, yeah, no, being no. Being toxic is disgusting. Like when you're in a relationship, how I many? Like, have you ever been in like a, your at one of your exes? It was just a toxic relationship when you were just not mm-hmm. happy. Listen, yeah. I actually mm-hmm. looked up the definition of toxic. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. Oh my this guy that I was speaking to, and I, I read it. I was like, this is you. Is you? <laughs> oh no, 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 no! You don't know what toxic is. I was like, I'm reading what it is, <laughs> and it's you. <laughs> Literally, it's you. Oh yeah, I'm man. Stuck. Oh yeah, I think. I I was going back with what Emma said. Do you know the fact that men will be literally mm. telling you things that you want to hear and literally showing you the actions. 100. And then once you finally open up, listen, once you finally open up to a guy, say bye bye. That, that, that's, that's it. Because apparently now you're crazy. Now you're needy. Oh, now you're toxic. So but wasn't it you, the one like, yeah, baby, you're, you're the, I need you. You never like, tell me how mind. you feel. You never tell me. Mm. Now I'm like, oh, I have feelings for you. Never tell a guy I have feelings because that's it. <laughs> you're gonna say you're crazy you're toxic you're mad or oh, you're needy why are you always calling me when you was the one always making the effort why like let's uh, like not even that and then it's like when you tell you when you tell them how you feel it's like oh it's too late like it why did you say this at the start yeah. or like like you're saying this now like why you change your mind like i didn't change my mind this it's just how i feel, how I feel now that like, i've got to know you more we've chilled out more we've been on dates or whatever you know? i've caught mm. feelings i guess but 
Do you know what I mean? Like I'm telling you how I feel like we're grown. We should be able to have this conversation. Yeah, like, I hear that. It's not I it's not that. even that serious. But now it's all of a sudden, mm. oh but you know what? I'm not ready for I'm a relationship. I'm not ready for a relationship. Uh, oh, every guy's not ready. You're literally fifteen, you're still not ready for a relationship. <laughs> how many My years? How many years hold until you're ready? No, like, but I swear like older guys even like 30 year olds now, not ready for a relationship. Trust Sorry, me. That, like, you're nearly dying and you're telling me you're already <laughs> <When's> the ring? <laughs> when will you marry? That's what I'm saying. Everyone just wants to have fun now like literally everyone just wants to live the best life but i feel like even though we're, we're here complaining about the toxicness in the situation is just going to c- continue because oh, yeah. we've been in the pandemic I'm not gonna lie no either. one's going to get tied down into a relationship everyone wants to live their hot girl summer in their best life and even year. if they get tied down easily they get che- like oh. guys be cheating or girls guys be cheating. be cheating you know mm. like i don't trust guys cheating. anymore i don't I trust all all guys. guys were nice do you I believe mean. every guy cheats uh, yeah i really yeah. do you know? uh, no i believe my whole heart that every single guy out there Cheese. Uh, not every every cheese. But I say ninety nine. No, I yeah. say like ninety nine point nine percent because nah. Literally. Even okay, okay maybe in, even if it's not like penetration or like it's still like conversation. Oh, it's still like no, 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 flirting at work, oh, all that type of stuff. I, I, like, for for example, me and Liana mm-hmm. was um, we went to somewhere in the UK. I don't want to bait out, so we went to somewhere yes. in the UK mm-hmm. where it was it Manchester, mm-hmm. and I worked with one of the guys. Um, mm-hmm. And he was my friend. So we came back to Manor and went out for drinks and that. And he had a friend. And like Liana was telling me, like, him and her was having this deep conversation about relationships. And he was like, Yeah, I'm single. And she was like, I just don't get why guys cheat. He's like, Yeah, I'd never cheat um, uh, if I had a relationship. The, the, the next Red morning flag. after, Red I get flag. a DM on my phone request of his girlfriend saying, Hi, girl, do you know who da, 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 <laughs> is? He didn't come home last night. Da, da, da. I'm oh just my thinking. God. Oh my God. Okay. Like, Wait, how how could did she even find look, you? I don't even know. But luckily enough, like, obviously, like, Leanne wasn't talking to him in that way. It was on a friendship level, but yeah. for him to confidently say with his chest that he thinks that guy, ch- guys would cheat, guys would cheat out a trash, Deep and then he was trying to get on. I was like, damn, so how guys do it? Honestly, stay put your hands up if literally you've had a guy that has a girl that has a girlfriend slide in your DM. I wish I had that many hands like, to put up. Like slide in your DM, tell you like they're single, they want to take you out, they want to spend time with you. Oh, they got baby mama. Oh, baby mama drama. Oh God, honestly, yeah. I'm literally just like do you not have a girl though like shouldn't i you actually be messaging your girl shouldn't you be messaging your girl like and like, why are you speaking to me like that if you've got a girl like, like, what do you mean what do you mean when when they're like oh never say never bro you, you've got a girlfriend you have a girl what do you mean never say never you have like, a why girlfriend why are you too long to reply sorry why are you not replying um, to your girlfriend like literally like <laughs> I, like, like, like I mean she this and this and that do you not miss your girl do you not uh, miss her do you like, not miss her like, how is she by the way just, how is she how is your girl I mean I mean I think she, she, she got a new job I think she moving out like how, how is she isn't she yeah. pregnant <laughs> isn't your girl pregnant like let's talk oh, about oh, that oh, like are you gonna name your child after me <laughs> no, honestly. Oh wow, no. Right, let's talk about um what turns you off in a guy like is it X? Yeah, and red flags. Yeah, red I feel like I should have made a list before I came. Oh yeah, so no, literally same because I feel it like my mind's not coming out. <laughs> it, it, I'm it, not even it. thinking properly, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, this is a real big ick of mine, and I'm sorry for you guys like guys who do this. When guys message you and they send you the devil smiley emoji, oh my I'm God. like, uh, uh, the uh, demon emoji. don't be sending me all of these emojis. These like demon emojis, like these love oh. heart emojis. Like this screams to me like Tinder boy. No, literally, yeah. Like, yeah. it makes it, it gets like crawls up my skin. Like <laughs> I literally feel repulsed. I literally, yeah. you know, when like I do this thing when I feel like repulsed by something, my hands and automatically go like this, and I'm just like. <laughs> Stay away. No. Stay away. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of my ex, man. Oh, mate, I have. I have so many in my head, but at the back of my head, and I just can't oh, think so of so many. Liars. Like, yeah, li- oh, oh, liars. 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 You've been looking at me and telling me, yeah, baby, you're the only girl. You're lying. You are lying. You are you lying. lying. Punctuality is actually a big thing, you know. Saying it sounds like a joke, but like when you have plans mm-hmm. to meet up at a certain time and you come like three, four hours late, like, no. no Chill out. I, Chill no. out. I'm tired of guys literally be like, yeah, let's meet at seven and then they'll message you later literally. you know you know they just want to fuck i'm not even gonna like, let me say this yeah you know a guy wants to fuck yeah and they'll message you at like yeah let's meet up at 8 p.m and then when on the day you're getting ready like okay 8 p.m 
like, oh, babe, sorry. Like, let's just change it up. I've got, I've, I'm in the studio. Let's make it 11. Yeah, let's yeah, make it yeah, one. Yeah, and you're like, am okay, I your booty call? Am I your booty call? Like, Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's eight o'clock. Why are you now tell me 1 a.m.? Like, no. I feel like guys bye need to say with the chest, listen, like, I don't want a relationship. I just want to F. Like, yeah. fair enough. But don't go around the circle. Don't make me literally put on my makeup thinking I'm going on a date when these times you're going to cancel it. But no, like, no. Like, yeah, literally. come late. Oh, yeah, my boy. I had to go to Bradford. <laughs> 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 like what do you mean we, we made these plans like a week ago you yeah, couldn't yeah, tell him no that's like what's going on no that's mad no another ick of mine is like when a guy tries to flex in front of other girls oh okay oh, yeah, the flexing standard though the flex- like, listen I didn't even tell <laughs> tell us <laughs> tell us no it's a bit of a master still but Go guys on. that like flex like their cars or like their drip like that's icky to me it that's depends on how they do it like yeah. I don't mind a bit of drip obviously I, I love fashion that. I love I that that. Mm-hmm. Stuff, but yeah. when you're flexing it like don't oh, flex yeah, it like, you've got guess it. which car's mine <laughs> someone actually did that I was like I really don't care no, no, it's cold did. my like, heels are hurting <laughs> let, let pick one <laughs> Let's My get God, it. Look how good Yeah, like like if you buy yourself stuff and you reward yourself stuff, yeah, that's yeah. calm, but don't flex it to the party. It's like, oh look at me. And don't try and get me because, through your oh, material thing. Yeah. I hate you, I hate you when guys try and get girls through their material thing, things yeah. and flex it yeah. and then be like, our oh, girls want it's just material shit. Bro, no, that's oh, all you're offering. That's all Imagine you're they offering. have a nice that's car. So you've you been minding your table. business. No, literally you've been minding your business walking. A guy that has a nice car will just literally pull his window down yo you think i'm gonna you come in your that, car you think, just you because think, your car's yeah. nice you think yeah. i'm just gonna I'm like, like, oh, walk wait. even if i've got two miles to go i'm I will still walk that shit <laughs> Only joking, I'm still jump walk. <laughs> <laughs> let me in this cold Nah, I just another thing when guys when guys drive past you and they rev their car. Do you want oh, me to? Oh, do you that that want so me to chase after the car? Like, like no, literally. it's like, oh, yo, let me say this. No, no, I don't give a fuck about you. I, I don't get. I don't know what class it is. I don't actually know car. So you rev your, you don't know your car. I, you know you know. I really <laughs> don't give a shit. Like. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a, a Renault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, a it's, it's like it's a Hyundai. <laughs> like like me when it's like stupid boy, stupid boy, you're driving Renaults. No, literally, no, guys. I think it's sad how guys. These are, are the doing guys that are breaking our hearts, guys. Deep it. These no, are the guys. Literally. These guys who be driving shit cars be breaking everyone's hearts. Bro. Literally. I don't, that's what I'm saying, you know, like, I don't even care about, like, the shit car or all yeah, of that. Like, it's just, if you're honest, like, I don't understand why honesty is just, like, so just, forgotten you see, I, no, you see, like, There's just no pure guys out there. there we just need pureness. Like, it's it's because like, they, in their mind, they're thinking that, that that's what girls want, but not all No, girls. because yeah. there's yeah. some girls that are actually, like, like they don't yeah, actually like the material shit and just yeah. want to... Yeah. Like chill with the vibes, just be literally all about, all about the vibes. All about the vibes. Yeah, yeah, honestly, honestly, like we don't take much. Yeah, it really does not take much, like at all. Can I just, Some guys overthink it. Go on. Go on. I was gonna say the same thing that you said. Like we don't ask for much. Like we really don't ask really for much. Really don't. Really don't. So like bare minimum, and I feel we, like mm, bare minimum. We, no. we we don't even like we don't ask for much, and it's like. We, that's we just only too much. This little, this just yeah. the know what, know what pisses off. Oh, sorry, this, what, pisses, <laughs> what, <I was> <laughs> what pisses me off the most about girls? Like, I'm sorry we're coming for the guys, mm-hmm. but why are we accepting bare minimum? Like, Bro, I just don't oh get God, it. Like, I feel like that's like, to we're me. Like, we're like, like, we're like, oh my God, he's not toxic, and no one's meant to be toxic. <laughs> yeah. no, no, that, that's not, I don't even think that's the bare minimum, though. Like, even like, so for example, like, there was a guy that I was seeing, and mm-hmm. even just like meeting up to go on like part dates and stuff like that, like, that was too much, and it's like, but how though? Like, you don't why, even pay why, for anything why, in the park, exactly. bro. Like, why can't we just go to like a viewpoint, chill? Yeah. Like, why can't we? Like, if I'm meeting up with you and I'm in a situation with you, why can we not go for a fucking drink? Why, why is it that's too much? Why is it always it's in yours? Know. It's fucking boring in yours. Like, like, we're not gonna get to married well. after it's a drink. Smells. Like, yeah. literally though. Boys. Literally though, it's like there's so much. That's what adds pressure as well because then it makes you think like, oh, is that too much too now? Much. But then it's like, no, it's there's bare people minimum. getting thrown out to Dubai. There's people bro. that are younger than us, bro, getting bro. thrown out to Dubai. Bro, 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 I deserve so much I'll, better. No, literally, literally, I'll be literally be like, oh, do you want to go to the picnic? Or like, do you know what I mean? Like, just yeah. literally do activities. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, no, oh, I can't nah, be bothered. Nah, it's, nah, like, it's like, bro. No, literally, these girls out here that literally, I don't know, getting money and they didn't even have sex to do guy, anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, but that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't even need to be like freeing up yourself or like doing anything like that. Mm. Like, the bare minimum is mm. still too much. It's too much. Guys, this is making me check myself. Fuck the situation. No. In it, in it, nah, nah. 
I'm listening and I'm just like, no, honestly, because we no, all go. No, no we're all going right now. Yeah, yeah. Guys, yeah. the reason to reason, get to anyone. This not this, it. This is experience, guys, because mm. I'm tired of being in situationships at the same time, and I'm tired of just settling down for less because I feel like, bro, like. But it's sad though because it's like if you don't, then you're just gonna be lonely. <laughs> I feel and just I, like not a lot, of guys. Like we think in our head, oh, we asking too much. No, yeah, we're not. We're guys not. are just not giving. It's just enough. like basic guys, communication. Yeah. Like I'm literally the most chill person ever. Like mm-hmm. the this like toxic relationship that I was in for two and a half mm-hmm. years. He literally like wouldn't speak to me for like two weeks on end. I'd be like, oh, I'm so chill. But it's like, no, that's fucking weird. Yeah. yeah. But like yeah. even even in this situ- in like this situation ship, like it's like sometimes I just won't even get a reply. Like I won't hear from. That's them, not fair. That is him not fair. For like a couple weeks but and whatever God. and it's just like okay and then like it's got better recently or whatever but then it's just, just kind of like oh, you, you're, still you're, still you're, still you're still walking the eggshells at the end of the day and you don't know what it's going to be like so you might as so well annoying. you might as well just so give up like and then just go for the yeah, guy that gives you it all but then i feel like nowadays if someone wants to give us like all that attention we'd be like whoa what the fuck's this? Right? Like, what? No, that's so true. Like we'd because be shocked. Like, I feel like, like, late replies and stuff like that, for me, personally, it's a red flag. Just mm. because I feel like, what what are you doing? Oh, like, damn. Like, I give out like, really late What do you class as late replies? Like, how, how long is late for Two you? weeks is too late. Oh, two weeks. Yeah. Oh, two weeks. Oh, oh. Two weeks. Oh. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I hate they texting they, myself. They, they, they don't remember you if they leave you for two weeks. They they out. I am a caller, you know. I don't like texting. Texting pisses me off. I'm just a caller. But yeah, if I don't hear from you in like a week, I'm quite chill. Like, if I don't hear from you for like five days, I don't have to hear you, no. I want to hear you. hours. No, no, literally, let's say I came to yours, right? Like, the guy's house. I just want you to just be like, yo, did you get home safe? We don't yeah. have to talk after that. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Because I just feel like it just like makes more sense. Like, okay, yeah. cool. Like, okay, cool. Now I'm home. He cares. But it's like, guys won't even do that. They'll be yeah. like, oh, I thought you got home anyways. You would. You should have texted me. Do you guys say this? You should have texted me when you got home. Or yeah, or they yeah. go text me when you get home. It's like, you why know. don't you text me to ask if I've got home? No, yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Or get me an Uber, bro. Like, <laughs> get me an Uber. I'm tired so of- So you can see <laughs> when I get home. <laughs> 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 Nigga, like shit. For real though, for real, like literally. No, but no, it, mm, it depends though, because I feel like not all guys are like that, to be honest. Like, I've seen mm. some sweeties, but. No, no I, so I feel like. Guys, I feel not all guys yeah. are like that, but we just actually go for the trash. No, we guys, do. Let's like, be honest. Let's guys like that. Why? Like, why? That, like, uh, did you ever see that thing last year actually when it was like someone actually made like a. Um, I forgot what it's called now, but like basically like a chart mm-hmm. of like oh. when they went on dates and stuff and like how much it cost and that oh. and like yeah like petrol money and that did you not see it on Twitter? No. Oh my gosh, what? it was so bad. It was like it was like a tweet. It was like a hashtag, mm-hmm. and then people were like confessing like oh the guys that they spoken to and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. someone said that they were seeing someone, and he literally had like a chart on his phone, and like whenever they went out for food and stuff like that, he would calculate like how much it was at the end of the night yeah. and like do you know what I mean? Like, oh. and, like, I don't know if he, I think he sent her an invoice. Someone sent, listen, there was so many stories. I'm going to have to send it you. Literally. But the, there was another guy that I was seeing and he would literally, like, when we'd get into it, like, argument and stuff, he'd be mm. like, oh, yeah, but I dropped you home. And no, That's like, your job, that, like, what the hell? You like, have a car and I'm sense. coming to see you. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, what do you mean you dropped me no home? Like, when you, you drop me on the street, you think you're going to see me, me again? Like, see no. You, and that's the energy you're bringing. Like, what, you know what, what are you thinking? Yeah, let's talk about that. Like, why are guys not putting effort anymore? Like, why, why are guys to, literally Listen, I'm so sorry, guys, but when I was younger, like, being in love, I used to feel that like I was in them. I used to be like, so back in the day. I was in the day. Chess, like, I'd ever been in a relationship. <laughs> I when, I was, when I was younger, married. I used to be obsessed with man's behaviour. So I used to be like, oh, man's behaviour, one day I'm <laughs> oh going to find... Oh, do you remember that? <laughs> but but I'm not even talking, I'm talking used, about later. Yeah, late. I'm talking but about I used, 90s, I, used, I, used, I, used, I used to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get in a nice relationship when I'm older. Literally, no. whatever happened to that 90s love? Because I'm that's what I used to look like. Where is that 90s love? Like, when's the last time you heard anyone in our generation talk about, like, man's marriage I or know. like and it's like obviously like speaking about it it's, oh, it's a bit scary now it's, i'm not gonna it's lie it's speaking so about it's like, kids and marriage because yeah, they think oh, you want one it's like bro chill no, out literally like, like, it's a conversation yeah. Yeah. And and part- obviously it's different for women <laughs> because men could just fucking pop it out anytime they want at any age but like for women obviously we have to like not even like think about it too deeply but we are kind of like on a time We're limit a time if I mean, scary, yeah so yeah. it's like when we speak about these things not speaking about about you but just like in the future in it like if that's yeah, where you're like, trying to go now, bro. like yeah. let us know in it and then you know we'll see where it goes like that but exactly. obviously right now i understand it's a bit scary if someone said that to me about marriage i'd be like oh. like i really but i like that mindset like, like wedding you know but i feel like a lot of people don't care about it anymore oh the, nah the i don't actually want to get married like really? i'm not a lot asked of people about just, it no not really like me 
Personally, if mm-hmm. someone loves me, they love me. I don't need a wedding ring to prove that. Are you Jamaican? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess that's everything. Yeah, a lot of Jamaican. No, not a lot of Jamaican. No, no, right. yeah. 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 I mean, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean like yeah coming from a Jamaican family like not a lot of people get married I just feel like it's a waste of money it's you. a waste I of money that. Like, but I, I think it's that. flushy I think if but, it's love like I feel like yeah. I get what you mean but then there's like the good side is, but when you say you just think it, it just looks beautiful yeah I mean like in the future if I have money love. and like if I'm in love and mm-hmm, I but for mm-hmm. now the, the vision is, like, the right vision now, isn't so actually scary. there like yeah. the, for me to say I want to get married it's not in my head but when you deep it when you deep it our parents are our age when they met each other and they were having kids it's crazy Change, like, what's going what on? What is going like, on? What is going on? Yeah, that's like, actually so true. Like, what? So Sorry, because I'm just thinking ahead. Imagine if we all had to like marry, like and have kids with everyone. I could not. Uh, I, I can uh, barely look after myself now. No, yeah, like, yeah, no, I'm yeah. literally I mean, I clumsy as fuck. <laughs> But like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think right now, like personally, I don't really want a relationship. But I'd like yeah. more respect in like situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, like, I'm on end Situationships with that one. can work if you are respectful and if mm. I guess like maybe like some more like you're seeing someone that's very chilled. Like I could do like that for a long time without being in like a committed thing. Yeah. But it's just like I can't be in something where it's so like I just oh. feel disrespected and yeah. so with the situation I mean? can they see another people. person can you look and um, talk to another thing. person can they talk to like f- like I don't know like I think as long as you're open and honest about it do you know mm-hmm. what I mean mm-hmm. but I think but for me like <laughs> I'm gonna say I don't like sharing no. I'm not gonna lie I don't like I'm gonna I hate sharing, sharing bro yeah like, I'm gonna mind. say no on that one your mind like I feel like a situation ship should be like kind of relationship when you're just you're on the same page but you're not but checking you're it, it but you're, slow. yeah but you're not checking it anyone else as well like maybe yeah you're not checking anyone else. So that's like, how. That's why I would want it. Like I don't mind. I don't. I don't mind us not being in a relationship. Relationship. Yeah, I don't want a relationship. Like, that's cool. Like, I feel like this is the new thing now. Yeah. Like that. That shouldn't even be. A yeah. Thing. Like I get so, it. Like this is exactly how I feel. Like being mm. in a relationship right now sounds so scary. But it's like I don't know if I'm even ready for it. Yeah. But at the same I, I time, like I do want it, yet. but like not anytime soon. But I feel like relationships used to be like way more chill than they are now. Like we act yeah. as if it's, as if we're gonna get married and be we, with that person we forever. We act the way we act with relationships is how like people must act with marriage like, we're no, literally, literally. Think, we think we're gonna be tied to these guys for 24 mm, 7 but you could literally just be like oh yeah he, he's my man it's chill i see him every now and again isn't it and we go to parties together and we hang out with our friends together yeah. and it's chill like, but why like, can't we do that anymore no yeah, literally no. and it's like yeah we might not be together forever but it's just chill do you know yeah, what i mean yeah, like, i feel like situationships should just literally is. be just you i feel and like man. it just, just it just tells down to young people and then yeah. not their mental health but like their mentality their mentality yeah, like think. i feel like nowadays there's, there's a lot of fearing friends. people there's a lot of fearing people and obviously social media plays a big massive part mm-hmm. and you see on social media oh, like, girls mm-hmm. saying like oh i need a guy with eight figures in his bank yeah. account, this and that, this mm. and that. And these guys are expecting these high expectations and these girls are expecting these high, high expectations from these up. guys. And it's just like, it's fucked up, man. Like social media actually fucks it, it, everything it up. It like, actually, mm. I think that's really- Cause it's thing. like, mm. you say you're in a relationship and then you see all this over Twitter, you have to check your relationship. Like, whoa, is mine not the yeah. same as yeah. everyone else? But it's like, it's everyone true. needs to stop focusing on what Twitter, what goes on in Twitter. I'm not gonna lie. Focus on their person. As well, I feel like, um, obviously like there's a lot of stuff on social media that says like oh yeah girls have like different expectations of guys like we want them to have cars and money and whatever yeah. it's actually guys are like oh yeah she's not good enough like she doesn't look like the Instagram filters or she doesn't but look like this Instagram and you're level short. like I'm so confused how can you be saying this when you're short but also, and you're bald <laughs> also they where's don't look like real people where's your hairline who's that coming they do look like <laughs> they do not look like real people do you know what I mean no, like no, why, why are you so not content like why are you not satisfied like, that is off. one thing that annoys me actually when guys be like yeah I want a girl with a small waist or I want a girl that's big intelligent big fix BBL <laughs> yeah. I'm like no 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 guys guys I want a girl with white toes have you seen your toenails have you seen have you your toenails you, you just came out you, you continue like, to wear them same like, socks you clean like, like yeah, yeah. I want them girls with them white toenails but have you seen your crusty dusty toes Bro, yeah, that <laughs> girl, down at I your want crusty girls dusty with their slick ponytail you're bold like <laughs> <laughs> your hairline's moving backwards it's like I want a natural girl but i like girls with bbl i was like what yeah, yeah. are you make right? it make sense make it no make guys, it what, makes it, sense. what's for me what's for me is is guys like doing a comparison of like girls with like no makeup and girls oh with makeup. oh my god like they're even entitled for an like, opinion on that because is like 50 pound i'm sorry who's coming wearing that every day <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> not me 
Do you know what I mean? It's just yeah. we're allowed to be like how we look. Do you know like, what I mean? I think like so, like I say, social media has literally messed it up because if you literally walk out with no makeup, oh my god, like what yeah. the hell? Like let girls be like literally. Yeah. Not every day yeah. they want to wear makeup. If you don't like me? I like this. You don't deserve me. And exactly when they say like, oh, I hate yeah. girls are such catfish without makeup. That's the whole point of makeup to literally, make catfish. I'm not even. Like like I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to look like. I'm trying to have makeup. The one that just woke up there. No, honestly, yeah, guys are just mad. They act for so much. Like guys, broke. guys think that the like <laughs> uh, girls like expectations of. Someone's coming for you. She's coming for you, <laughs> and she will hunt you down and fight you. <laughs> Beware. <laughs> She's coming. I'm not, I'm not I feel coming. like guys have very. I've got even been saying. Wait. I feel like guys have very high expectations. I forgot what I was yeah, saying. Of girls. women. Of, of like, women. Of yeah, women. Yeah, yeah. I, feel like guys, yeah, I feel like that's unrealistic. it. I feel like guys have unreal, unrealistic expectations. Mm-hmm. Like, now nah, I want a natural girl, but then I want a girl. But it, they'll be like, yeah, I want a natural girl, no makeup. But then looking at these girls on Instagram with all the filters. Bro? Bro, BBLs. Oh, like, yeah, like, oh my my, lip my lip wife, lip. I want my wife to be natural, but you're out here cheating with girls that are literally got fake boobs, fake lip fake lip bomb, fake booties. To, to make yourself feel better because oh. you was insecure. Yeah, insecure. Men are insecure. I'll men, say this that's, again. I feel like that's where it tiles down men to. Men are actually insecure, but they just don't want to say it. They literally don't. And they'll like, make you girl, feel insecure. A girl will happily say that they're insecure, but mm-hmm. I feel like a guy, well, it's, it's, a, it's a big ego thing. It's an ego thing. They can't say they're insecure. So that's why they make other females. I feel like it's a lot of, of like men's emotions as well because they don't really like open up or speak yeah, to you about don't. that type of stuff. You literally have to knife Drag it down neck to get anything out of them to say, oh, I'm sad. Like, yeah, but why are you sad? Like, what happened? No, Do you know what I mean? Like, Can I ask a question, right? So let's say you met a guy and he was lovely, you know, he was a 10 out of 10. He was a lovely lad, all of that. Lovely lad, one of the geese. You lads. know, and you're like, you know what? I think I found one, you know? And then let you get to know him and he tells you he's got a kid. What do you do? <sighs> I don't I, like things like that though. Like, why? but he wasn't honest in the first yeah, place. Like, I say bye bye. You didn't really get the option to to choose whether you wanted to stay with him or not. And well, maybe was he like, was scared to tell you because you leave him. Do you know? Yeah, what but mean? That's you was correct. You was correct. I'm going. <laughs> I am. I, I'm not. <laughs> You're right. Good night. <laughs> like, if I'm not gonna have a kid of, of my own, I'm then not I'm not gonna look after kid. someone yeah. else's. You no, know what I mean? if he tells you like in like like let's say because I feel like sometimes you can't help what you love. Like, what if he tells you like in the beginning that you know. Sorry. No, because that's actually know. happened to me before. I've been talking to some guy yeah. from the club and whatnot, and then we've been chatting. Nothing too serious, you know. Lockdown mm-hmm. happened. We yeah. had to like we couldn't really talk too much. And then the next minute, I'm just in lockdown, my own business. Next minute, he's just with his girlfriend and the kid. I'm just like, whoa, let's a whole child. Nice. And at the time, I was 18. I think he was like 20, 21. I'm just thinking. Am I at 18 year old having to ask guys, do you have a child? Like wow, I now actually have, I have to ask guys, do you have a kid? Because is these guys will tell you is crazy. unless you ask these yeah, guys will not tell won't. you have they yeah. have children or unless you don't do your you know your background checks you know me i literally be yeah i'll be going in what was that oh it's me <laughs> <laughs> <Jay again>. wow. <laughs> okay let's talk about like you say the crazy moments like tell us t- literally tell us the craziest moment you've had with a guy like the most craziest thing that ever happened to you <sighs> where do i start oh my god let's ever. take turns <laughs> yeah you start i'm okay. ready the- <laughs> i'm ready i was seeing yeah, this was guy um janae knows the story i feel like some of you guys might know the story, <laughs> well we'll rewind we'll, 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 so i was like seeing this guy for like two weeks okay i was chilling he was all right i also did something awful I'll tell you guys that in a minute as well. Yeah. But basically, no, I'll tell the awful thing first. So I act, so on the last day when I said I'm not interested anymore, he wanted me to dye his locks. And he, cause he, <laughs> he wanted to what? Dye, dye his locks. Oh, okay. His locks, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. Um, and then he gave, gives me this like blonde, like uh, bleach to yeah. dye it with. Cause obviously lockdown, whatever. She it was like professional. back in like October. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, sure. Like putting it on. And he was like, oh, you're gonna put it on the ends, like not the roots. And I was like, what do you, I was like looking at him like, you're an idiot, like you're a boy, you don't know yeah. what you're doing. Like I'm just gonna do how the hairdresser says my hair, whatever. Yeah. Put it all on his roots, left it on there for half an hour. <laughs> 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 and it goes like bright yellow, like yellow. And I've literally seen photos of him now where he's got every like- locks. And it's got bright yellow My guys come in on his come locks. In. And he literally was there. Uh, I thought he was gonna punch me. He was like, he like, he's like, he goes like this, and he's like, 
<laughs> like, they're like, my guy's coming like, like a cheese string, you know? Me going cr- I, he, I literally thought he was going to punch That's an easy me. fix, though. Yeah. I thought he was going to say he's dread to drop, drop nah. out. No, nah, it's not an easy fix. It's not an easy Is fix. It I fucked it when it went orange after that. Could you not get that tall now? My guy looked like know. a well, cheese string. I've only yeah. ever dyed hair like that. <laughs> but anyway, that's, anyway, it didn't yeah, end that well. Right. But the weird thing that he said to me was, we were like chilling, to, and literally been sitting, like chatting to him for two yeah. weeks, just chilling in his room, whatever. And he, and he goes, oh, so like, if I was out at work all day, what would you be cooking the kids when I got home? And I was like, bro. First of all. First of all, I would not be cooking at home. I would be out doing <laughs> my thing and working. Yeah, and second of all, uh, you think I'm gonna have your kids? Are you joking? <laughs> if a guy ever said that to me, I would literally look him in dead laugh. eye and laugh in his face. Are you alright? No, about you? Are you? Are you no. mentally okay I in the head? Was like, are you mad? Honestly, are you okay in the head? Like, bro. is everything okay at home? Are you mentally stable? Like, you think? Ah. No. That, so no. that was like probably one of the weirdest situations really? for me. What about you, Michael? Weirdest. The weirdest were like what? Anything. It could be anything. Like you find out you had this, or you know you found out there. Like it could be a mother's mother's. Give us a mother. I'm trying to think. There's like she no. turned the guy's head into cheese. <laughs> Man's coming like a cheese tray. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. What think your man do? Cheese, you don't know. I just feel like. The last guy that I used to see was just such a liar. Like, he oh. just lied. Oh, like, I, I've got one for that one. He was literally just such a liar. Like, literally, anything that you can think... Let me tell you what. This isn't even, like, a crazy story. I'm about to expose, but I'm not going to drop names. But if you feel that type of way... Because you know you did wrong. <laughs> you know you did wrong. That's right. Fits, you know you did wrong. If the shoe fits. <laughs> so, I mean, if that's on you, but go literally, on. Literally, we... So, obviously, yeah, like, we planned to meet up. And it was up. Just put the street <laughs> You had to be up. Like, it is what it is. It was a late thing anyway. So, I got ready. I got dressed. Laid the edges. You know that's right. You know that's and, right. Yes. Yeah, so... flicked out. Um, he lived, like... 30 slash 40 no it was like 30 to 20 minutes away from um me so it was like greater manchester mm-hmm. like all the outskirts yeah and he was in he went to go visit his boy in salford mm-hmm. and then from my to salford is literally not even that far like it's like 20 minutes as well yeah, so it's nice. like it's not even that far and my man tries to tell me that he was lost bearing in mind <laughs> i was i was dressed i was sat up waiting i was basically uh, i was waiting for like two two no. to three hours waiting for the Fuck two and a half that. hours waiting for this guy mm-hmm. talking about he's lost like you don't live in manchester like you don't know the area he was like oh the road to yours is blocked i, I was like mind one that, but road but Mikel actually is so close to the city center like literally, literally, though, literally, 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 literally like, like what do you mean it was like and then i started getting pissed off because i was like what do you mean like obviously i'm I'm sat here just waiting yeah. for you. Like, how long do you think I'm gonna wait? Like, I'm gonna go to bed soon. And he's like, Nah, you see you. You're not even trying to help me. You're not even trying to Google Maps the thing. So obviously, I was on Google Maps, like looking for other routes. And I was like, Literally, you're seeing one road out of all the roads. <laughs> he couldn't. He could have literally just parked up and just literally. Looked I was like, That is the most bullshit excuse you could use. Bearing in mind, that I could hear like TV noises in the back. So I was like, It sounds like you you comfy oh. to me. Like, it don't even sound like you're in the car. So obviously I started getting upset and all that. Oh. And then he was like saying, oh yeah, like basically trying to put the blame on me. But okay. there was just so many lies that he did. Like that was, I feel like for me, that was like when I realized that Met this life. is, because obviously when people tell you lies that you like, you're just trying to like, mm. you know, you're like, oh, oh he, yeah. you dodge, you dodge your red flares because you like this guy in it. Yeah. But that one just like, yeah, for that's me. a big like, thing. Like what, 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 what is it your guys is like, what's your biggest red flags ever been? A lot. Th- that one. <laughs> See, I'm blind when like red flags. I'm no, like, that's what I'm saying. No, I, feel I like pray. If, I, if, if literally, if I get to know this guy, just like she's showing me the signs. God will show me the signs. signs. I, I feel like I'm most blind. time, most time, the, the God will show me the signs. And I'm like. I'm like, I can't see, like, oh, oh, did it? honestly, no. You saw me that was you sure? Are you sure? Uh, I was dating this guy, right? Oh, Go so basically. <laughs> got to know this guy you know us girls we don't open up you know we just i was like i'm not gonna open up because you know what men are trash you know what i mean i mean i'm at that stage now i just know guys i'm not gonna literally yeah. gee with you and be nice to you no <laughs> so i was literally just acting hard to get and just literally got to know him and he was actually going for he would bring me every girl when i tell you every day he used to ring me every day and i'm just like okay I, you know us girls we like someone that does things every day you know is it consistency whatever that word is yeah <laughs> that one yeah like he was doing all that and then literally got to know him finally basically like six months later basically finally opened up finally started like okay not liking him finally love 
Let me know. They're like, wait, I finally kind of oh. opened up and had feelings for him. Mm. So imagine this guy, like I said, he literally used to ring me every single day. He came all the way to Liverpool to come see me. I'm not going to tell you what city he's from, but he lived far. <laughs> <laughs> it was a drive. We know it was is. a drive. Is this beginning with like, oh. Ah, <laughs> Him uh, all the way, you know, he lived in, you know, somewhere far, far away. <laughs> you far, know? Far, far away. Oh, yeah, 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 he lives far away. So anyway, yeah. so I was like, oh my God, like usually when someone lives far away, they always be like, oh, when are you coming down? Yeah. So for him to come yeah. down, I was like, rah, this guy's really likes me. He's really making effort, y'all. You done things that I wanted to do, like we went to the beach, all of that. Anyways, anyway, so- guys get from an intimate memory. Because I'm just like, ugh, <laughs> like, ew, like, ugh. Anyway, like, I can't, I can't believe I slowly opened up. So I opened up, guys. And like, you know what, girl, sometimes like, I don't know what he done. I think he took the piss to reply or something or something like that. So I rang him and I was fuming and then he was just like, ah, oh, you know what, Selma? Let's just pause. I'm so happy that, you know, you, you're finally like, you know, like I can tell that you really have feelings for me. And I was like, nigga, like literally like get to the point, like why did it? And he's just like, can I just tell you something? He's like, do you have feelings for me? I was like, obviously, like why would I be shouting? And he's like, that's good because I have a girlfriend. <laughs> do you want to be part of the team? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What? Guys, when I tell you, ever that, ever since that day, my heart just like I felt numb. I didn't even feel anything. Like when I mean, my I didn't cry. I didn't feel anything. Ever since then, my heart is cold. I said, "Do you want I'm, to be part of the what? team?" He it's said, part of the team. "Do you want to be part?" He, bro, he's literally said, and he told me like he's never gonna stop. Did his, uh, did that, his girlfriend no, just like, no. I'm scared. Oh, this is exactly he, his girl no. has no idea. Like, guys, what I mean, the girl has no idea. Because I was like, I'm very interested. Because the thing is, I was like, wait, I just want to know. With me, like, I'm not a type to just block you. I was like, no, you know what? Fair enough that you told me. I appreciate that. I would have loved for you to tell me the first day, really and truly, so I can fuck off. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But I was like, you know what? Just in, like, so f- just for my, you know, health. Like, why? Do you know what I mean? And he was just like, I just, I, d- I don't think I'd ever be with one person. I was like, but does your girl know? And he was just like, he hasn't. She has no idea. But one day I would tell her. It's one an ego day. thing, isn't Bullshit. it? It's definitely. One he will day. never tell her. He will never oh, tell he her. He will never. And I was just like, men are weird. Like that's when I was like, you know what? I'm gonna chop you guys before you chop me because I could never. Hmm. That's hmm. mad to me. But it's my guys. I'm not even. You know, usually you see red signs, guys. He was speaking to me every day, and the reason why is because he used to do night shifts. Me, I'm thinking, oh baby, no, nah, with guys, <laughs> like, guys, like, like he, 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 he said, do you want to be part of the team? That guy knows, knows what he's doing. He, he knows, knows what he's, he's game, doing. Bro. He knows um, the game. I, it didn't make yeah. sense. I was like, but how, how, and where? Like we spoke every fucking day. Like it doesn't make sense. He came see me. Da, da, da. We spoke. He, he literally say good night to me, good morning. Obviously night shift. You know, you wake up at like what time? You, you go home at seven, um, seven, eight a.m. Oh, sorry, nine a.m. and stuff it's like that. So of course he's gonna. Yeah. yeah, it's mad. I was just like, raw. Men are actually That's shit. Oh a man could God. literally have a girlfriend, but not even a girlfriend. A team. A team. A team. Yeah, a team. Bro, literally. I'm trying to build a legacy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> literally. <laughs> What's going on? Did you tell the girlfriend? Have you seen? Have you found? No, listen, it's none of my business. I'm not that type of girl. Like I'm not the type yeah, of girl to no. literally go. I always just believe karma. Like I'm a yeah, karma person. I always be listen. I was nothing but nice to you, but karma will get you one day. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the big real. thing I believe. Karma man, like, will get that. Nigga. Karma will. It's coming. Get you. It's, it's coming. coming. I, you, all you gotta do is just sit back. You just relax. sit back, look good, mind your business, mind your work business, hard. work hard, do you, <laughs> and then karma, <laughs> karma so will come around the corner. It respects to you. For, you yeah, know, thank you. you. No, I, I don't think. Cheers to that, lad. Cheers, 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 lad. Cheers, lad. Come on, mate. Yeah, man. What about you? What was the craziest story? I would say probably the kid thing, but I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think at the top of my head. I mean, I had crazy exes before. Mm, damn that guy oh i had a little bit i had an ex this one time and Mm -hmm. it was one of them ones i wanted to break up with me for so long and it was like it was just draining everything apart apart from the relationship you were just ready to just let go but like the word guys a girl will be in a relationship for months and months and realize she wants to leave you but she will not leave you she yeah. just needs that co- courage just Yo. to go yeah, a girl can't cut it off like that so anyway i'm just one last it's, yeah it just yeah. tastes like what i'm just thinking in my head like that like, i need that one last thing like, i just need to i just need to go mm-hmm. and i knew he would take it really really bad like i just knew like i think that's why i didn't actually do it for so long because i knew the guy would just take the information just so bad like mm-hmm. we're scared for like i said I reckon like nine to ten months whatnot mm-hmm so then boom comes to where i'm breaking up with him and it was actually to the point where at first i was like okay i'm gonna do this because he was very really really like emotional oh. and it was like it's kind of tight but then i was like okay i can't i can't break up with him let me just try and go on a break with him and then just say oh, them ones, yeah. one of them take ones like break. Break. let's just take a break it didn't work man literally like i broke up with him the guy pet i the guy pestered that much when i broke up with him the guy pestered me that much 
if I knew I could have put a restraining order in, I actually would have put one in. Right. The guy was belling my phone, Snapchatting me, Instagram, Twitter, every single app, you name it. The guy brought flowers to my door. And it was just like, it was affecting my mental health as well on the same level because mm. it wasn't just him. He wasn't he, leaving you alone. He wasn't leaving me alone. He was pestering me. And I was I was feeling like such a bad person because how he was feeling, because obviously he didn't take the break up yeah, well. Yeah. I was thinking I'm a shit person yeah. then, like putting myself down. Had his sister on the other foot, on the other side of the ah. phone, giving me shit. Imagine, yeah, I'm going to bait it out. Imagine, yeah, his sister, the age of 29 years old. But at the time, I'm eight, 17, yeah, 18, yeah. what? She's prank calling me on the phone saying, I'm a hoe, I'm this, I'm that. I'm just thinking, that is sad. at your big age, at your big age, that is sad. That is sad. That is but yeah, age. like if I knew That's I could have put a restraining order in then, I would have done Definitely, it. Definitely, yeah. It literally six months down the line, I broke up with him like the December. On my birthday, he was still messaging me six months down the line. And I think I, after blocking him everything, he was gone. But actually, literally the other day, is there like my mum's pictures of me? I'm just like, bro, That's just mine. leave it, man. You need help. Right. You, you need do, help. You yeah. need help. You yeah. need to find yourself. And then not even that, like afterwards, remember I was like yours at time. Oh. This girl, this girl who like, he was seen before me and whatnot. I, mm -hmm. It's not, not my business. Um, but. She um, she called me. She tried FaceTime me on Instagram and not spoke to this girl in ages. I'm thinking, the fuck, me and Emma are there jumping her. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Like, she's like, pick up on that. And nah. This girl sent me, when I say this girl sent me 40, 50 voice notes going on with herself oh on God. about how these two are meant for each other. I'm thinking, sis, I've not been with this guy for almost two years. Like, wow. give it a rest. Oh, he's a Give it a rest. Not how them two should be together. I'm just why sat here like, you? why are you oh, telling me this? Not. I think so, he, that's why he's like that with you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, but it kind of made me feel good because I thought... Now that's a taste you. of your own medicine. Now you're know, gonna know that like, that's not okay to come to me like that because mm -hmm. now you've got a girl like that coming for you to like that. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah, like facts. a bit of taste of your own medicine. Now you'll realize not to pester a girl. Facts, because yeah, that's mad. Yeah, guys, be mad, you know. Mm. What? Guys be heartbroken. That's what it is. Mm. No, literally, no, literally, literally guys, yeah. literally. I feel like they take heartbreakers on. They, they they take it on a different yeah, level. And yeah. they take it on a different level, and they just will not take no they for an answer. Give up. They, they just, just like, don't leave give me up. alone. Literally. It's just no, literally. No, I honestly. I can't imagine how many times I screamed down the phone, "Leave me the alone." Phone and like alone. people, and I think like, like it's a game. Like, it's like, not no game. And like when I've been in a situation, like I was in a situation where I was in like a relationship with this guy. And then loads of awful shit happened after that, but that's like irrelevant. Mm -hmm. um, but I was in a relationship with this guy and I was like, I don't like him, I don't want to be with him, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then he was just like going crying to all of our friends and all of our, oh, like, my and God. he was being so manipulative. And like, I was literally feeling like, oh my God, like, I just you can't feel, take it. You feel like it. a shit person. Yeah. And then, no, they, make, they make then, you feel like such a shit person. And you realize in your head, well, hang on a minute, it's not me the shit person. It's you. You're the shit but person the worst, for making me feel worst like this. that all my, all our friends were being like, oh, Emma's such a bitch. She's such a bad person. Like, oh, stop being so mean to mm, mm -hmm. the, that guy, is, whatever his name is. Okay. And then, <laughs> and then I was just, yeah, I was literally about to say the thing. I was like, Ooh. Uh, and then, um, but it's just like, f like, why, why are you trying to manipulate all of my f my friends yeah, to turn against sad. me just because you're a bit, you're yeah, I mean, I was, yeah. Get a grip. No, do you know what I look like as well? It's like, I seen a tweet as well, saying mm -hmm. something of like, <laughs> how men get upset that you tell your girls about like, basically your heartbreak with yeah. them but it's like why would I not like I can't speak to you about how you literally me, like oh. you won't listen and I'm telling my friends because they can actually give relate you as well help, and you're getting upset because what I'm making you seem like a bad character exactly you are you are, <laughs> you are the bad character no, literally, I'm, not, I'm, I'm telling them the stuff that you did to me like <laughs> I'm not exactly uh, they, can, they can portray that picture in their own yeah, head everyone like, knows yeah, what you're yeah, like that's <laughs> why, you, why are you telling your friends why can't I tell my friends no literally sure. they make a big deal oh you talk too much what so yeah. you want me to cry there by myself all day? Exactly. And then what? And then when I try to tell you, oh, you're crazy, man. No, oh, moaning, you're man. No, you're like, 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 You're moaning, man. No, 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 I'm not fucking moaning. I actually, I just don't have time. Like, ladies, just put your feet up and just relax. Just relax. Honestly. Like, there's no time for these guys to be wasting our time and there's no time for these Let, guys just to be. Just time wasters, just do you. At the end of the day, just mm, do you. And honestly. then, like, whatever you are, if you're feeling love and you're feeling good, you'll attract that. It's we'll go on and on, honestly. Yeah. But let's close it down and just literally i want every single one of you guys to just literally give us give advice to like a young girl that's literally just finding herself literally living her best life literally. and stuck in these situationships 
Honey, just do you. Like, honest there. Don't even be focused on the situation ships. Whatever will come, will come. Preach. You just do you. Be the best version of yourself that mm-hmm. you ever can be. Love yourself. Because mm-hmm. if self-love isn't there, mm-hmm. no one else is going to love you. So you need to make sure that self-love is there. Look after yourself. Always do you. And don't actually ever give a shit about these guys' opinions. And don't yeah. actually ever let a guy bring your opinion down or your self-worth down. Because you'll look back at it and just think, wow. No, you'll, you'll laugh. You'll, no, you'll laugh. You'll, laugh. you'll, laugh. you'll, you'll look back at the situation and you'll be like, how? How could I actually let that ever get to me? Honestly, no, literally. Just do you, no matter how the, the consequences are, the obstacles, just you do you, as always. Honestly, yeah. I mean, I feel like Janae literally just said it all. <laughs> yeah. no, literally, she literally 